In this video, we're going to look at the general case following on from the previous video. A block of mass m kilos rests on a rough slope inclined at an angle of theta degrees. The coefficient of friction between the block and the slope is mu. Find the range of values of theta for which the block will not be sliding down the slope or will be on the point of sliding down the slope. So let's draw a diagram so we can visualise what's going on. It's my slope. Here's my angle, here's my block, and it has a weight of mg. Okay, so let's complete that triangle. That angle is going to be theta. This is the opposite side, so this is mg sine theta, and this is the adjacent side, so mg cosine theta. It's in contact with the surface, so there'll be a normal reaction R. It's trying to slip down the slope, so the friction will work up the slope and parallel to it. OK? So this is my situation. Now, if um, the block is not sliding down the slope, or it's on the point of sliding down the slope, then the friction is going to be less than or equal to mu times r. OK? So if we resolve... Um, Perpendicular to the slope, taking that direction as positive, we will have r take away mg cosine theta is zero. So r is mg cosine theta. Okay, so therefore what we currently have is that the friction would have to be less than or equal to mu times mg cosine theta. OK, so that's the result so far. Now, um, when uh, it is at rest, so the block is at rest, uh, we can look at resolving um, parallel to the slope. So if I take down the slope as positive, uh, I'm going to have the mg sine theta. Take away the friction. And that's going to be equal to zero, okay? Because it's um, it's not moving, okay? So because it's not moving down the slope, that's going to be equal to zero. So that means that the friction is equal to m g sine theta. Now that I've got the friction, I can substitute it into my formula that I have here. So therefore, we have m g sine theta is less than or equal to mu times m g cosine theta. OK. Now, I can divide m g from both sides. So sine theta is less than or equal to mu times cosine theta. Now, I'm going to divide through by cosine theta. Now, you might be worried about, OK, well, cosine theta can go negative. But um, between 0 and 90 degrees, uh, both sine theta and cosine theta are positive. And in the situations that we're going to look at, it wouldn't make sense for that angle to go more than 90, or get even go to 90 degrees, would it? OK, so dividing through by cosine will be perfectly fine. OK, it won't change the direction of the inequality symbol. So sine theta over cosine theta will, of course, be tan theta. So we get this. So if I just revert it round, mu is greater than or equal to tan theta. So if mu is greater than or equal to tan theta, then the block uh, will not slide down the slope. OK? It will either be on the point of slipping, if it's equal to tan theta, um, but if mu is greater than tan theta, then it will not slide down the slope. OK? So that is a very useful result to memorise.